Now we will assemble the back section of the back structure of the extruder. What we'll need is the two big laser cut components that look like that. We'll need the four linear bearings. Uh, you can reuse the ones that, um, uh, that you currently have or you can use the new ones if you, if you want to um, use the new ones. Then eight M3 by 25 screws, uh, three M3 by 16 screws and then um, eight M3 lock nuts. So we first take the, um, the laser cut component, we'll turn it so that the cutout for the servo is on your right hand side, then we know that this will be facing the front of the, of the printer. So then we will take the three M3 by 16 screws and put them in position and they go into those three three holes so they mount onto the um, the assembly that we have just done before this one now we will turn this around and we will put the linear bearings in place that they sit nicely in the those four slots provided then this one will put on top that it's in the same um, orientation as the the bottom one then we will mount the the screws from the side where the the current m3 by 16 screws are sticking out we will put the m3 by 25 screws through and fix them on this side. You can see it might be a little bit of a tricky process but if we keep it together like a sandwich we can put the M3 screw on and as soon as we have tightened the first one it will keep the structure in place so that we can do the others. When you have tightened up everything, it will look like that. So the linear bearings are, are aligned, the two plates are keeping them together, all eight of the M3 screws are holding them in place, and then the three um, M3 by 16 screws are loose inside the, the assembly. We'll use them at a later stage. Now we will mount the servo of the auto bed leveling to the assembly we've just assembled. So this is the, the servo with the auto bed leveling on. I'm not going to go over the assembly of, of this unit because this is described in the auto bed leveling videos. So how we assemble it is we take this assembly with the screws facing the, these loose screws facing the front. So the, the rest of the extruder will be mounted on this side. And then this servo slots in from the bottom with the cable of the servo to the right hand side so that the, the axis of the arm is more to the right hand side of the servo and then we fix it with the two screws that's provided with the servo. Now we will assemble the front section of the extruder to the, the back section. Um, this is the assembly we've just assembled and there you can see with the servo attached to the, the assembly and the loose screws facing to the, to the front. This is the assembly that we've assembled previously with the two hot ends. Then we'll need the two small black springs, two M3 by 30 screws and four M3 standard nuts. How we will assemble this is we'll take this assembly and it will slot into the slots provided onto that assembly. You will most probably need to undo the two M4 uh, screws, that, the one on that side and the one on that side, 
to make these two perspex components slot into the 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 back plate and once we fix it we'll tighten it again um, but else your the spacing might not might not fit okay so now we've unscrewed that screw and that screw a little bit so that these two can can move outwards now what we'll do is we'll take the the two black screws of the two black springs and we'll push them into the put them into the holes provided sometimes they stick there sometimes they don't we will use the two inside holes you will see that there's four holes but we'll only use two springs because um, two springs or one spring per hot end provides enough force to push the, the hot ends up and then what we'll do is we'll slot it into the the um, the back plate assembly okay now we've slotted in and you'll see that the the springs wants to push the assembly out so what we will do the first one we will um, the first screw we will assemble is the one that's in the middle so we already have the screw and the nut in place so we can just tighten it and that will keep these two assemblies together so then the next step will be to take two of the of the M3 um, nuts and slot them into the the slots provided that one and that one and use the two screws that's already in place and the last two screws are for the M3 by 30 screws and the nuts will go there and the screws will run into that hole and that hole and it runs right through the the whole assembly now we've tightened the two assemblies together to, to form one and the last step now is to tighten those two M4 screws so that that preloads this whole structure so that the M4 screws pull the the bearings into the black printed components so that they cannot fall out and that also makes the the um, mounting of the hot ends make it sturdy so that it can only rotate in one direction now we can check that the, the hot ends can move freely so you'll see that when you push them down they go down let me hold it like that if you push them down they go down and the spring pushes them up and what you need to check is that they go up by themselves till they bottom out against the the perspex frame the distance that the hot ends will move down is approximately uh, three millimeters that it will move down when it prints and when it's finished it will move up by about that three millimeters now we will assemble the extruder assembly that we assembled previously to the the frame assembly what we'll need for that is two M4 by 25 screws, two M4 washers, and two M4 lock nuts. Now we will put the extruder assembly on top of the frame assembly so that these two M4 screws go into the uh, those two holes. And while it goes in, we will screw these two lock nuts from the bottom onto those um, onto those M4 screws we can just screw them on that they are flush at the bottom we don't have to to tighten them now it will look like this and we will use the other two M4 by 25 screws put the, the washers on and they will mount from the bottom they will mount into the um, the base component of the extruder and you'll remember that we've already inserted those two M4 nuts into that base component to where they um, 
screw into. Now for the last section we can attach the, the cooling fans. So you'll see that you'll get two uh, cooling fan ducts, two brackets, you'll need 15 of the M3 by 16 self-tapping screws and the soldered fan module. It's two fans that has been soldered together to one um, wire with a connector at the end so they will run um, together. So firstly we will screw the fans onto the, um, the fan ducts and we will assemble it so that the sticker of the fan is on the inside and the wire is going to the top and then we'll use four screws for each fan to, to screw it onto the fan duct. Okay, now this assembly looks like this. So the next step is to fix it to the, the fan brackets. You'll see that they are split in two because we will first mount these ducts to the brackets. The brackets will slope to the bottom. So if we look at it from this side, they will slope downwards and they fit on top of each other in the middle like that. So then we can fix one um, fan with duct to the one like that and the other one will fit like that and we'll use four of the self-tapping screws to fix it from the sides. Okay, now the fan assembly looks like this. And we will fit the two brackets on top of each other there. And it will mount from the front. It will mount onto the, the extruder assembly. And now we've mounted it to the extruder assembly and it will look like this. And we can bend the, the two fans a little bit closer to the, the hot end. But we must remember that they must still be able to move up and down. So for now we can we can pull them down a little bit a little bit. And once we've set the height, we've calibrated the height on the on the printer, we can just move them up so that these uh, bottom corners doesn't touch the the print uh, while it's printing. And that's the extruder assembly. The next section will deal with the assembly of this unit to the printer and also the setup and calibration of the, the dual extruder.